Good morning. Today's Thursday, January the 21st, and I just wrapped up my morning routine. I'm all prayed up. I have read the Bible. I have read, uh, I think, chapter 11 out of my T.D. Jake's Destiny book, and I have done day 21 of uh, yoga with Adrian Adrian's 30-day true yoga program. Um, and now I am making my video journal entry for today. Um, so what is there to talk about today? Um, I was reading Destiny and the chapter that I was in was all about the value of mentors and that, you know, when you are um, in your pursuit of destiny, that it's good to have someone in your life that has kind of walked the road that you are going down in pursuit of your destiny. Um, the, the value of partnering with somebody that has been there, done that, and um, has wisdom to give you guidance so that your journey doesn't have to be as treacherous <laughs> as maybe theirs was. Um, it was also talking about the um, keys to having an effective mentor-mentee relationship and the need to, or the need for you to, to be vulnerable, right? And to really be able to expose yourself and to share what's real and true in your life so that that mentor can actually help guide you and you know give you their um, share of experiences so that you can actually glean from their wisdom um, and that's all in good all good and but as i thought about it um and while i agreed i was recognizing some things um in myself and that um I would like to consider myself um, comfortable with being vulnerable. You know, I'm, I'm pretty open and I've always said, hey, my life's an open book. I'm, I'm happy to, to share. But in truth, there are things in my life that um, I have not always been comfortable sharing. Um, you know, and so I think it, it, it in my youth, um, and keep in mind I'm, I'm 53, so my youth could have been, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, <laughs> 50. <laughs> That's when I was younger than, than I am right now. There are things, you know, mistakes that I've made um, that I have been um, ashamed of and wanted to hide and keep secret. You know, I think that um, I always wanted to put my best foot forward. I worried about what it is that people thought of me. So I only wanted to, so anything that I wasn't uh, proud of, I wanted to keep to myself or, or, you know, keep a secret. And I realize now that that in doing that, I actually created a lot of difficulties for myself. You know, um, I can remember growing up, I was very much, um, how should I put it? You know, I was very much an obedient kid. And so, um, I was so literal, you know, so when you think about, you know, the Bible tells you to, you know, honor your mother and your father. Um, I did the things that my parents told me to do, and if my parents told me not to do something, I didn't do it. Um, if I thought, you know, that they had given me some indication that they didn't approve of something or they didn't want me to do something, they weren't interested in me doing something, then I kind of complied with whatever their, their wishes were. And, um, in a lot of ways, it was, um, I restricted myself a lot because I, I operated within these constraints and never really wanted to venture out. And um, 
the way in which I did that, when I did venture out, I was venturing out in secret, <laughs> you know? So I was kind of like, you know, very black and white in terms of I'm gonna do what they tell me to do, I'm gonna do what I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do, what I, whatever it is that I tell them I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. And if I tell them I won't do something, I'm not gonna do it. If they tell me no, then that's fine. Um, but if there are things that I want to do and I'm not positive that I'll get the approval, then those things I'm going to keep to myself. And so when I go out and I'm with my friends, I'm going to be comfortable just being me with my friends and kind of venturing out and, and, and trying different things. Um, because you know operating in that that gray area um, and so it was in that gray area that I operated where I maybe I made a lot of mistakes where I did things you know where it you know the result wasn't wasn't positive um, it didn't make me happy maybe it was something that made me sad or you know maybe it was a mistake that I made and I, I wasn't proud of those things I kept to myself you know like I didn't share those with my parents I didn't share them with my siblings I didn't share them with anybody in my family it's almost like I you know my family stayed over here in this this box and I had to be a certain way when I was in that box and then any freedom that I had was over here in this box with with my friends and I felt comfortable with that because my friends were making the same dumb mistakes that I was making. And, um, you know, and even in that, that friend box, you know, there were probably some friends that you can share things with and some friends that you did, some things that you didn't share with. And so I found that with my friends too, year, years later, um, made that determination. And so I can just look back now and think that because I did not allow myself to share, to be vulnerable with people that were in my life, that loved me, that cared about me, that were more experienced than I was in things and that could have guided me, that could have given me advice to help me, um, avoid certain mistakes or even to accept mistakes and not to feel ashamed and feel as though I needed to hide things. Um, if I had been more open then I probably could have avoided, you know, years and years and years <laughs> worth of, worth of, uh, uh, of heartache or um, shame. And when you think about it, shame is really the work. Of the devil you know um, when you do things that you're ashamed of and you want to keep that hidden then you don't actually give yourself the opportunity that you deserve to learn from those mistakes to overcome those mistakes um, and because you're feeling as though you have to keep it a secret and you're holding on to that shame, it negatively impacts your self-esteem, you know, how you view yourself, your self-worth. Um, and that can impact other relationships that you have down the road. Um, and for me, you know, those mistakes could lead me to want to, you know, hide and go further and further inside myself. And those that behavior, you know, led to behavioral health issues and, you know, being stressed or, you know, turning to food and, you know, gaining weight and, and all these things. Um, and so I thought it was, was very interesting. And so I guess um, what I would encourage people to do is to, to be open and, you know, if you yourself are in a position where you have relationships with people that are younger you know maybe you've got kids or you've got little sisters you know brothers cousins um, you know you're a teacher and, and you just 
are exposed to people that are, are much younger that are just going to go through these things that are just a part of life um, I would just encourage you to to be open and to share and to create opportunities for to be vulnerable by sharing your experiences so that those people that are younger and less experienced can see the value in that vulnerability and give themselves the opportunity to learn and grow and thrive and never to be ashamed of the mistakes they make or the path because everything that happens happens for a reason um, and it is for any trials that we go through it's for our benefit so that we can learn and grow and overcome and conquer and be better and be stronger um, and really just to be able to navigate this this life well um, so anyway that's all I wanted to share today those those were the thoughts that came in my head uh, still feeling good on day 21 happy to have started my day off with the power of positivity and you know being good to my mind being good to my spirit and being good to my body hope you'll do the same bye